In this video, we're going to be looking at goal function trees. There's only a handful of papers out there on this subject, so let's dive in. A goal function tree is really pretty simple. Fundamentally, it's a hierarchy, that's why it's called a tree, that represents big goals, little goals, and everything in between. These goals can be thought of as actions that need to be performed successfully in order to complete the mission. They all lead up to mission success. So a goal function tree allows the team to look at a huge, complex, intricate system such as the NASA Mars lander and identify everything that must go right in order to perform the mission successfully. This is in opposition to the usual systems engineering tool, a failure tree. Failure trees are not as useful in complex systems engineering projects though because there is a multitude of ways a project could go wrong. Failure trees do have a place. Let's say your goal is to get to work on time. It's easy to identify most of the ways in which you might fail this mission. You might sleep in, the Starbucks line is long, there's unexpected traffic, or you get in a fender bender. Sure, there will be a ton more possibilities. A meteor hitting your office is possible and it would cause failure, but it's not very likely. However, let's switch gears and think about really complex systems. For example, a vehicle that will descend to the surface of Mars, stay there for a period of time, provide shelter for its habitants, and then ascend back to its orbiter, such as the NASA Mars lander. We could get all the smartest people from NASA in a room and they could brainstorm all the ways in which this possibly could go wrong, but there's a lot of ways in which this could go wrong. Even the cumulative knowledge from all these experts still wouldn't cover the sheer number of events in which this could go wrong. Four, Just think about one of NASA's previous two, Mars landers. One, zero. Which crashed because English units were used instead of metric units. No one would have thought to put that on a failure tree. Thus exists a gap between current tools and what is needed in the complex systems engineering community. This is where the goal function tree comes into play. Creating a high-level goal function tree can be done via brainstorming, such as we did on the whiteboard and paper. We use color coding to keep track of the types of goals. Collaboration, along with expert opinion, helped form our view of the mission. The general process for creation is the following. First, the designer needs to determine the high-level goals and form a general goal hierarchy. Second, determine the major phases of the system. Third, for each phase, decompose the highest goal of that phase into achievement and or maintenance goals. Finally, determine the state vectors and functions associated with each new achievement and maintenance goal. At this stage, goal function trees have been implemented in SysML, a modeling tool used by system engineers. Here are some examples of the goal function tree that we've created for the NASA Mars lander. We use the software package by Magic Draw called Cameo Enterprise Architecture. This software allows us to simulate how a sub-goal failure will propagate up the tree and ultimately affect the mission success. We have an entire special topics video detailing the process of creating a goal function tree in SysML, as well as some of the issues that we faced along the way. You can watch our other videos, which include value models, sensitivity analysis, and neural networks. You can read our full report through the link found in the description.